Ooh, full scale fun. Okay, so we've got crazy winds. Notice the trees. It's 17 to 25 mile per hour predicted winds out here today. Not what I'd like for a maiden on a new quad, but I have a few minutes. I'm still on the stock tune. I haven't done any tuning to this. I did set up a second profile with uh, slightly higher rates, but I don't know how well that'll work since we're on a really default tune. You'll notice it may do a bit of twitching here. There it goes. Which is from having one shot enabled. But the odd thing is, usually it's only the AVR ESCs that do that, but the more I've been reading on this, it's sounding like these are indeed uh, not AVR, but actually uh, Scilabs. So I'm not sure why it would even be doing that. But let's give it a little go. I did change the, like I said, I did turn on uh, one shot, and I did turn on uh, the braking on the ESCs now, so... Let's see if it does any better with, not quite as floaty. This tune is still absolute hor horrible. It's very mushy. Very mushy. I'm in acro, working well. Oh, that's full stick on y'all. Look how slow that is on default settings. Ugh. I'm not even half throttle here. Let's give it a little try on horizon. Snaps back pretty well. Yeah, it's full throttle punch outs and not what I was hoping for with 2204s and 6 inch props. That's uh, the weight, though. I, I normally don't fly this big of a battery. It's just what I had on hand. And I'm sure that big, heavy battery is, is why I'm not getting the performance I'd hoped for. Go back here, and let's uh, see if I can see the lights blink. Okay, so there's profile one. And here's the other profile I set up with better rates. We're still on default PIDs. There we go. Now we got some yaw going at least. And there we go. I got I got wires coming loose from that though, so it flips. Uh, definitely need to do some tuning. Nice and stable. I mean, right here in Acro, we're hands off. You know, there's no barrow, so getting it to actually hover stable, especially in this wind, is not going to be easy. But, flying pretty well for a stock tune. Once I get some better pids going on here, get clean flight on it. Let's clean some leaves off here. This should be a lot nicer once it's all set up. See if we can make it back to the house now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, bent my antenna a little bit, but yeah, we're doing pretty good. It's uh. Definitely going to need a bit more tuning before I'll be happy. But we're uh, we're flying it. The, the changes did seem to get rid of the floatiness that I was less than pleased with, so that's that's nice. And uh, I, I still want to figure out how to flash these ESCs and get them up to run in uh, the latest version of BL Heli instead. So that'll come soon. And then we'll just take a closer look at this board. I'm just noticing now, 
It actually looks kind of bluish, but that might be the coating they put on there. Yeah, that's the coating that looks bluish. And there is coating on the top layer as well, which will make reflashing a little trickier, but we will find a way. We always do. Right? Right. All right. So, first flight in the bag. Uh, man, it's windy today. We'll try this again soon. Really soon. I'm itching to fly more. Alright.